Is it zoomed in so much? Let's see. Oh, that was Max. Oh, there's monsters everywhere. It looks like it's turning to daylight. I really want to go check that out, but this blindness is going to be bothersome. And doing this it in the dark is bad. So what we'll do, right click the linking book, click the box, zoom. And we don't have the book anymore. And it has fallen out of our hands. Now if we had done the, this book the same way, it would have fallen on the ground here. And we would have lost it. So we still don't know what that is. You can pop that book out like so. Now you can right click and just put the book like that. If you wanted. How do I get that page out of the book though? Put no book there. What is this for? Alright. Can I right click this? Is that its own internal inventory? Can't really put this book anywhere. So just that one piece of leather and that one blank page I put there did that. And there is nothing lit up on this. I don't know if I have to go to every single one of these to find out if that's the right one or what. Again, I should have done more reading. Can't do any on, anything on those. Can't I can put it there. Can I go like this now? And I can't do anything. That is n interesting. I probably could click on that and go back. First thing is first. Make another linking book, just to be safe. Anything? Now, the, this page should not be unknown anymore. I'll be right back while I figure out this mess. Excuse you guys in a second. Alright, we're back. And after watching a little video for a little bit, I've discovered that pages I was thinking of, or you can do it this way, you can have the leather there, drop a piece of paper in there and get a book that way and there are villagers in villages that can do it you can see it doesn't even show up there let's go did I have a yeah I did have a book always need to make sure you have a, a book home a linking book to the overworld now this world looks like an ocean, frozen ocean biome. Now, no matter where I go, I can see squid swimming around, quartz everywhere. Or not quartz, but crystal. There's nothing really special. Now you cannot discover random pages anymore. Nothing else here, so might as well go back to the overworld. You have to trade villagers for the pages. You can't just discover random ones anymore. And I don't know how to get it that one out of there. I want to get that back in the notebook. But I don't know how. Got to pick that one back up. Okay. Now let's go see 
first. Let's drop off those two. Grab a few emeralds. Let's go see if that village... So I didn't really explore everything in this village over here. First gotta check on the turtle. He's been going non-stop. Oh, looks like he's done. Got some ruby. But no diamond. Darn. Oh well. Let's check out the village, see if they have one of those. Uh, library houses and in the house it'll have a bunch of bookshelf or not a bunch maybe a little more one or about the same amount as a normal village house might but it will also have a couple lecterns and a writing desk and on the writing desk will be or sometimes on one of the lecterns you might find uh, the book or not the book, but a page that you can trade for. Or not. It'll have a page you can take and you can trade with the villager to get more pages if they have any. And usually they'll only trade you for one page once. I think this is just a normal house, but I want the books, so I'll raid it. I don't know if this village has the bookshop that I want. Because a lot of them are the same. There's a bee guy, a blacksmith. That's where I stole the books from before. So my only option would be finding another village that might have it. So once I find a village with it, I will be right back. Alright everyone, this is a Thumbcraft dungeon I ran into while I was running south from my home to go to the village that way. And in this first chest I opened, there is a desert biome page. That is one of the things we were looking for. Not desert biome specifically, but when you're making your own ages, a desert biome is really good, as I've shown before in was that three seasons ago. Because it's eternal day, you can run quarries there, get rubies easily, so it's really handy to have. Ooh, another book and single biome. Now, if you wanted to just have one biome, like just one massive desert biome, you'd need to go with a single biome and then that. That way you don't have the desert biome with a forest biome and stuff like that. There was a wisp in here and I slaughtered it and got some wispy essence. Skeleton zombie spawner. Keeping them alive in case I find a portal gun, I can make spawners out of it. Almost night time. There's the village. I barely noticed that Thomcraft dungeon just because of the way it is on this big map. Let's see if there was. I didn't really explore this village either. Either, either. So. And it could possibly have what I'm looking for. Probably not. Oh yeah, this is the one that was all messed up. That, that tower is all split in half and stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Sword to the zombie face. Why does that building look weird? Oh, that one dropped a potato. Okay. Oh, it's one of these ones. Jeesh, that's a good shooting you got there. Come on, don't get stuck on nothing. 
There we go. Free books, might as well get them. All the books you can find, because they're a pain to make normally. I don't really care all too much what happens to this village, since it's so far out from my base. And there's nothing really that great here anyway. Didn't have what I was looking for, but we found two pages so far in one Domcraft dungeon. So, I guess I'll meet everyone back at my base, unless I find something more interesting on the way there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay everyone, I found something better. On my way to this direction from home, found the Thomcraft dungeon out there, I found this tree. And I figured, oh, it might have a page under it. There's also a village over there I noticed, so I'm going to check that out too. Killed off the spawner, and inside was this. Atlas's portal gun. A blast protection book. Some iron ingots. A ruby. Gunpowder and silver ingots. Which I could actually put in place of that. I don't really care about that chest too much. I got plenty. But now that we have the portal gun, or a portal gun, that will help us out greatly. It'll help so, so much. That dang spider was tough to kill too because of all the stupid grass in the way. And it's one of the little cave spiders. I have a good feeling about this village having what I need in it. Ow. The spider after me. The iron sword. Oh. Where's it at? It must be underground. I don't want to go into this village yet because it is not daytime, I guess you could say. I don't want to risk having to lose villagers or lose the villagers I want. So, oh wait, that's a tree I already explored. There's great wood lot trees everywhere. It's insane. Let's see. Moon's going down. You know what? Screw it. I'm going in. I'll just slaughter everything in my way. Almost looks like that's the right one. Nope, that's a different one. And I should have known monsters were spawning here already anyway. Food. Sheesh. There was a silver wood tree here. Where else are they destroying? Ah, right there. Oops. Oh, angry zombie. And a spider. Happy little spider, ain't he? I'm breaking three on an iron pick. Hmm, nifty. Too bad there's no chests and stuff up in there. It's almost daytime. Yeah, there we go. Oh, didn't even have to worry. The guy I wanted was blocked in. This is the bookshop, I guess you could call it. I have a writing desk here. Good bit of shelves and a lectern or two. Tiny biomes. Now, if it's plural like that, that means it wants uh, multiple biomes in it. Three emeralds for it? Mm, bit expensive, but oh well. Just for that, I'm taking your books. Can't stop me. But, a full inventory can. And it couldn't seeds. Come on! Sheesh! He's way over there. 
Now it looked like he had a new thing for sale already. Let's set up that guy. Minor feature biome? That's new. What I'm going to do is completely destroy this guy's little house. Let's see if there's anything hidden in it. I kind of want to take the lecterns as well. Let's put this other one on there. Q. Q. Hmm. What I will do... Put that like that. Stick that portal there. That way I can come in and grab this guy, build a little house or something back, or a little prison cell or something, back at my base for book vendors. That way I can have all the books I want. So until then, let's keep this place lit up nice. Let's see. Wood's always handy to have. He's trapped for good. We got a portal gun, which is extremely awesome. Not the bacon one that I, or the bacon or let's see. I still need Peabody's gun. Um the bacon gun. The what else was there? Potatoes, bacon, pea bodies, and the default. That's a lot of different portals I could have up. Portals to different bases, different levels of my base, all sorts of stuff. Now with these, now I didn't really do a whole, didn't finish the uh, mod spotlight video I was watching on Mistcraft. So I'm not 100% sure what to do with the stuff. Next episode, I will have everything needed to know about it. So, till then, next time you see me, we'll be back at my base. This will be the end of this episode, so favorite, like, subscribe, comments, do whatever you want. I don't care. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Have fun. And keep on watching. See you guys later.